Welcome to another UCCS Machine Shop video. Today we will learn how to mill pockets. First, paint your part red with the red layout paint on the surface you will mill. Set up your calipers with the width of the walls you are going to make and etch it into the block using the edges. These lines will serve as a guide to make sure you are not milling out a bigger pocket than you need. Next, you will need to calculate where you need to move your end mill for a rough cut. The size of your rough cut depends on how comfortable you are with the machine. In this case, we have a quarter inch wall, an eighth inch rough cut, and a quarter inch end mill. You add the quarter inch wall plus the eighth inch rough cut and half of the end mill since we are zeroed on the center. This gives us half an inch which is the distance from the edge of the block to the center of the end mill. For our stopping point, we take the overall length in the x direction minus that half an inch, which gives us one and three quarter inches in this case. We do the same for the y using the width of the block. Next, we will find zero. While the machine is running, take the edge finder to the side of the block that you will be working off from. Move the edge finder closer until the edge finder kicks out like shown in the video. Without moving the controls, set the appropriate zero. Move on to the other side and do the same, setting that side to zero as well. After both zeros are set, raise the edge finder and move so the center is close to the corner. On the screen, take both the X and the Y to point 1 and set both to 0. This is half the width of the edge finder, giving you absolute 0 of your tool. Once you find 0 on the top of your block, you are ready to mill. At your proper distances away, turn on the mill and raise the bed to make an appropriate cut for your material. Ask your TA if you are unsure about this step. When milling out a pocket, do the outside walls, then come in and take out the excess in the middle. The right hand rule is very useful for getting a good looking pocket. Make sure to use oil and clean out the metal shavings when they get in the way. Keep on doing these passes until you reach the appropriate depth by raising the bed. Once you reach the right depth, gradually move out until you reach the correct distance for your pocket walls. These will be the final cuts, so make sure to not go too far. When finished, lower the bed and remove your part. Make sure to remove any sharp edges with a metal file. That is how you mill an inside pocket. Thanks for watching. 